Welcome back. The Calexico recall election is heating up as residents decide the fate of two city council members next Tuesday. Karina Basarte spoke with both Calexico's first transgender mayor along with the current mayor pro tem to hear what their thoughts are heading into next week along with the former city council member who's in favor of the recall and she has the story. On the ballot, Calexico voters will get to decide if Raul Ureña and Gilberto Manzananes will stay in city council or get axed and emotions on both sides are strong i have faith that people will see the truth people will see the evidence the data which is on our side and mo most most importantly of all that people will not be swayed by hate this has been tearing apart the community for more than a year in negative non-constructive ways because the criticisms of the opposition are not valid they lack substance and they come from people who quite frankly have been disgraced in public office after almost a year what the calexico recall committee fought for will soon play out before our eyes we have to win this this election uh, to save calexico Calexico is really bad now. The parks, the police, the recreation, everything is down. And then we have all these uh, migrant workers coming in here, and then we have all the homeless, and they're not doing nothing about it. We spoke to Morris Rayson, who served on the Calexico City Council in 2020. They misuse the funds. They don't spend the money the way they're supposed to. They, they, want, they want to put 300 beds for migrant workers downtown. We don't want the migrant workers downtown. We have to fix downtown. We have to save downtown. However, pro tem Gilberto Manzanares says there has been miscommunication when it comes to the city. How can it be my fault that like these problems at Calexico has been dragging for over a decade be the fault of this one specific council member who has been there for four months when there's people actively in council today who has been there for close to five years, but they're not getting recalled. So. This is very obviously points to it's not about the benefit of Calexico, it's a political power struggle. Manzanares and Ureña says they haven't felt safe during the recall process and they had to increase security for every city council meeting. Fortunately, uh, the people of the recall movement have not been so civil towards us. Uh, we have had cases and it's all documented and recorded of people s yelling out transphobic, homophobic slurs to Ureña, uh, insulting us on the street as we're walking by. However, former city council member Rayson says that is not the reason. They're, they're using the, 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 the racist game. They say that we're racist and that we're against the gay. That's not true. That's not true. We're here because the way he spends the money. Both Ureña and Manzanares say they will keep fighting for a better Calexico. If we win and we continue to work for the people. One of the uh, proposals that we have in mind, and it's very important for people to know this, is that we are going to be proposing this November, uh, presidential election, a new tax measure, the first one in over 14 years in the city of Calexico, that targets vacant lots and blight property, because we have a lot of those in Calexico, and it's time to pay, because look, our city is in need. Manzanane says this will help bring more money to the city. They both say this movement is not about themselves, but to save the city they love. Reporting from Calexico, I'm Karina Basarte.